let's learn about genetics some important terms in the genetics inheritance it is a process in which a character is passed from the parent to the offspring it is a basis of heredity if we see variation what is variation it is a degree by which the progeny differ from their parents this is variation now first we will see mendel's law of inheritance during the mid 19th century george mendel conduct a hybridization experiment on garden pea for 7 years that is the time period was from 1856 to 1863 that time he proposed the law of inheritance in living organism during mendel investigated into inheritance pattern it was for the first time that statistics and mathematical logics were applied in a biology he conducted an conducted an experiment and he had some of this results that he have some large sample size were given the data was collected from the pea plant he experimented on the pea plant then this it was a experiment on successive generations of his test plant which provide a result pointing to the general rules of inheritance rather than being unsustainable ideas he investigated some characters in the garden pea plant that were manifested as two opposite traits first he has taken a tall and a dwarf plant uh, which contains yellow and green seeds it allowed him to set up a basic framework for ruling governing inheritance which was expanded on by the later scientists to account for all the diverse natural observation and the complexity inherited in them he conducted some cross pollination or artificial pollination experiment using several true breeding pea lines a true breeding line is one that have undergone continuous self pollination which shows a stable trait inheritance and expression for several generation he selected 14 true breed plant a pair which was similar except for one character with contrasting traits some of the contesting traits selected were smooth and wrinkled seeds yellow and green seeds infrated and constructed green or yellow pods and tall and dwarf plants were taken the seven pair of contrasting characters stem height which is tall and dwarf flower color violet and white flower position axil and terminal pod shape infrated and constructed pod color green and yellow seed shape round and wrinkled seed color yellow and green these were the seven important traits contesting characters studied by the mendel now inheritance of one gene let us take the example of one such type of hybridization experiment which is which was carried out by the mendel he crossed tall and dwarf pea plant to study the inheritance of one gene he collected the seed and as a result the cross and grew them in a generated plant of the first hybrid generation now filial progeny that is the f1 generation mendel observed that all the f1 progeny plant were tall like one of its parents none were dwarf he made some similar observation for other pair also he found that the f1 always resemble either one of the parent and that the trait of the other parent was not seen in the, them mendel then self pollinated the tall f1 plant to his surprise found, found that the filial two generation some of the offspring were dwarfed the character that was not seen in the f1 generation was observed in the f2 generation what was that the dwarfed was seen in the f2 generation and the proportion of the plant that were dwarfed were one fourth of the f2 plant while three fourth of the f2 plant were tall tall and dwarfed trait were identical to their parent type and did not show any blending that is in all the offspring were either tall or either drop but none were in between heights similarly result were observed with the other trait that he said only one of the parent trait were expressed in f1 generation while in f2 generation both the trait were expressed in progeny 3 is to 1 traits did not show any blending at either f1 or f2 generation 
based on this observation mendel proposed that something was been stably passed down unchanged from their parents to offspring through the gametes over successive generation what he called it as factor now this factor is now known as gene gene is therefore a unit of inheritance and that contain all the information that is required to express a particular trait in an organism gene which encode a pair of contrasting trait we call it as allele and they are slightly different from the same gene if we use alphabetical symbol for each gene then a capital letter is used for the trait expression at filial stage that is f1 stage and the small alphabet for either traits for example if we take a tall plant we will denote it by capital t capital t and if we are taking a dwarf plant then we will denote it by small t and small t if we made a cross of a tall and dwarf plant what we will have a selfing is done in the filial one generation where we will get two tall plants that is capital t small t capital t and small t if we again self them cross them then what we will get we will get four types three tall plant and one dwarf plant this is a mono hybrid cross now we will see the definition of mono hybrid cross the hybrid of individual with homozygous genotype which result in the opposite phenotype for a certain genetic trait the cross between two mono hybrid trait that is tall and dwarf is called mono hybrid cross for this we use punnett square for the observation that the recessive parent trait is expressed without any blending in the f2 generation we can infer that when a tall and dwarf plant produce gamete by the process of meiosis the allele of the parent pair separate or segregate from each other and only one allele is transmitted to the gamete this segregation separation of the allele is random process there is 50% that the chance of the gamete containing either allele are as have been verified by the result of the cross and this way the gamete of the tall plant have allele capital t and dwarf have small t plant during fertilization two allele capital t from one parent through the pollen and small t from other parent through the egg are united they produce zygote that have one capital t and one small t allele in other words hybridized hybrids have capital t and small t since this hybrid contain allele which express contrasting trait the plants are heterozygous and the production of gamete by the parent and the formation of the zygote that is the f1 and f2 plant can be understood from the punnett square we have we will see the diagram of the punnett square it was developed by a british genetics Rig, rignald punnett and it is a graphical representation which is used to calculate the probability of all possible genotype of the offspring in a genetic cross we can see the punnett square as shown the parent tall capital t capital t male and small t small t female plant the gamete produced by them and then f1 generation capital t small t progeny is seen in f1 plant the genotype capital t small t are self pollinated and it is symbolized by uh, male and female and the it uh, there is again pollen of the f1 generation and the f1 plant of the genotype capital t small t when self pollinated they produce gamete of the genotype capital t and small t in equal proportion when fertilization takes place the pollen grain of the genotype capital t have a 50% chance of the pollinated eggs to of the genotype capital t as well as the genotype small t also the pollen grain of the genotype small t have 50% chance of pollinating egg of capital t as well as small t which results in the random fertilization and resulting in the zygote that can be of genotype capital t capital t capital t small t or small t small t this is all about the punnett square 
which is used to understand a typical monohybrid cross conducted by a mendel between two true hybrid tall plants and true breeding dwarf plants some important definitions homozygous and heterozygous the two allele are the same then they are known as homozygous when both the allele are different then they are known as heterozygous phenotype the appearance of the plant it is known as phenotype and the genetic makeup of the plant it is known as genotype dominance pattern complete dominance only one dominant allele appear in the, it is in the phenotype if a, it is a codominance then both the allele are visible in the phenotype and in incomplete dominance a mix of allele create a new phenotype test cross and back cross test cross is a cross between f1 hybrid and homozygous recessive parent test cross is so named as a determine whether the individual with dominant phenotype is homozygous dominant or heterozygous dominant a back cross the cross of hybrid with one of its parent or adult genetically identical to the parent to achieve offspring with a genetically identical closer to the parent that is the back cross for today we have studied monohybrid cross and some of the important definitions thanks for watching and stay tuned for further videos thank you